Hey everyone, welcome to the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thank you very much for jumping in and joining me today. And as you can see, I'm in the Quest 3 VR headset. And it's a very, very good VR headset indeed. But it's not without its faults. Battery life for one, if you use it as I do, PC VR mode, wirelessly, you're going to get something in and around the two hour mark and then the battery will be flat. And also the comfort factor is a big issue for many of us. If you're smaller and younger, perhaps not such an issue. Um, but I found after about an hour or so, the uh, pressure here on my forehead felt almost as if it was burning. And uh, uh, I had to take it off after about an hour. I just couldn't take it any longer. Well, since December, I've been doing a number of tests and trying out various different products both in terms of head straps with inbuilt battery packs and also for the face plate and face cushion and in this video i want to run through what my recommendations are in that will turn the quest 3 from a really good he vr headset into a great headset and by and large eliminate those two problems so i'm going to give you my recommendation for a head strap with battery pack or a replacement face cushion and face housing that transform the balance and the comfort of the VR headset and also and thirdly a nifty little device that will be of interest to you particularly if you into PC link very often if you're using PC link you either using PC link or you're charging the battery one or the other you can't do both and if you've got a battery pack again you either use it or you use PC link because the MetaQuest 3 only has a single USB-C port this little add-on will allow you to both charge your battery use a battery pack and use PC link at the same time but before we have a look at my recommendations there's one point i want to raise which i think is fairly important and that is head straps with built-in battery packs well they're not all created equal shortly after the launch last year of the quest 3 there was a plethora of different products coming onto the market and today well there's a wide range available some caution needs to be made in terms of your selection and the reason I say that is that some of the products available were a simple conversion from what was available on the Quest 2, a modified strap so that it fitted the Quest 3. And the problem therein could potentially be that the amount of charge that it's able to give to the inbuilt battery in the headset is not enough because the power draw by the headset itself is greater than the input charge. I hope that makes sense. In a nutshell, the CPU within the Quest 3 is a higher power draw than what was required by its predecessor. So the risk that you have is that the headset battery will still go flat even though power remains in the battery pack because it couldn't keep up. The first Quest 3 enhancement that we'll look at is from a company called Zyber VR and it's their Zero Quest 3 Elite Strap with built-in battery. It has a number of unique design features which I really like. I've been using this product for about two weeks now. It's not yet officially out in the market but should be released any day now onto the likes of Amazon etc and is available directly via their website link in the notes below. The product is shipped very suitably packed and the overall look and feel of the product is one of quality. This is the back head support and the batteries contained within that and we'll have a look at that a little bit later on. The rechargeable and replaceable battery is 600 milliamp hours and at 18 watts it's got enough grunt to power the headset. The replacement head strap simply snaps into place, no screws or anything else required and built to take the rigors of continual use. The strap includes the handy snap-up feature. Movement is about 60 degrees up and 10 degrees down. The top headband has memory foam, super soft, and I found it very comfortable. Head strap adjustment is at the back, and the amount of adjustment should accommodate just about all requirements. The battery with its four LEDs can be powered on and off as required. 
The USB-C charging port is in the lower rear of the headrest itself. To access the battery as simplicity itself, simply pull off the magnetically held rear pad, which is a soft pliable material, once again very comfortable, and there's the battery. The battery can be charged in situ, but you also have the option to remove it if you wanted to, and now you're left with just a standard head strap. To put the battery back is equally as simple, just click it in place, press in the two lugs, and it's done. Then it's just a matter of replacing the rear head support, which is held in place by four magnets. It clicks into place, and you're done. The Zyber VR head strap with battery pack was one of the heavier ones that I've tested. The fact that the battery is in the back head support and not hanging off the back of the VR headset itself, for me, made this a very practical and comfortable solution. As this product is only about to be released, pricing is variable depending where you source it from, but on their official website, it's currently available for £44. I ordered direct from the manufacturer and delivery was circa 10 days. Zyber VR produce a fairly wide range of accessories for VR headsets, so expect it to be on your local Amazon in the not too distant future, and may already be out and about by the time this video is published. And lastly, how did the battery stack up against their claims? They say their battery should take about an hour to fully recharge and should provide an extra two hours use. I found from more or less fully flat to full charge was about an hour, 15, hour, 20 minutes. And I did a flight of about one hour, 45 minutes with both the internal and external batteries fully charged. And at the end of the flight, I had one LED light indicating 25% or less on the actual external battery and the internal battery was at 89% and indicating still charging. And this result is fairly indicative of the tests that I did. So I'd say their claims of an extra two hours, well, it's about right. The next product I want to talk about is a replaceable face mask, which has substantially enhanced the comfort of the Quest 3. It's from a company that's no stranger to VR accessories. In fact, I used their face gasket for my Pico 4. So I had no hesitation in ordering this product as soon as it was available via their website. This product is now available via Amazon, etc. And the cost is going to be around £35. And it's from AMVR. With it, you get the facial housing, two face gaskets and a nose guard. This here is the default one that comes with the Quest 3. A number of suppliers are offering covers that fit over the face gasket. I absolutely don't recommend this. They do nothing to resolve the comfort issue. And this is AMVR's offering. The curvature of the faceplate is slightly different. The gasket is much, much softer. One is PU leather, as we've come to expect. And the other one is a nylon or silky type fabric, which is my preference. And once I'm using this product, well, I have no problem staying in VR for three hours or more. When fitting it to the headset itself, make sure you apply enough pressure so it clicks into place. An error I made initially didn't press it hard enough. Once in place correctly, it fits like a glove, doesn't impact on your FOV, and is great for those that wear glasses. The final product we'll look at is the A2 link cable from KK Cobb VR. It's for use primarily with PC Link and adding power either directly or from a battery pack. So you can use PC Link and charge your battery simultaneously. I had this item for a couple of months. I got it initially for the Pico 4. It's a relatively small item. And inside the box you get the adapter itself of course. With a USB-C that connects directly to your headset. And a list of basic instructions which are fairly self-explanatory. The product has LED lights that indicate whether it's connected via PC link and charging or both. Reasonably sturdy construction and fitting it to your headset is not the prettiest affair, but it does the basics. Plug the adapter directly into the headset and it has two ports, one for power. Attach your battery pack here or directly from your power source and your PC link cable here. Then fasten it to the headset itself 
You get supplied with one Velcro strip, but you may need to do more, and you're ready to go. Product is available direct from KK Cobvia and also via Amazon and that sort of thing. Prices vary between 30 and 35 pounds or US dollars. So there you have my three recommendations that convert the Quest 3 from a very good VR headset into a great VR headset, in my personal opinion. I haven't been able to test everything because the range is vast, but I have also tested, for example, the Elite Battery Head Strap, the official one from Meta. It does the job perfectly well. It's very, very comfortable, but of course, it's very, very pricey. I'm not going to put any affiliate links or anything like that, although in the notes below I'll leave all the links to the various manufacturers. But in terms of buying accessories, very often what is the case is you should shop around. Have a look on Amazon, your favorite retailers, and have a look at the manufacturers and see what deals they're offering. It pays for you to shop around. You can save yourself a considerable amount of money by doing so even if you have to wait an extra couple of days for delivery but the choice is yours thanks as always for joining me stay well look after yourselves don't forget a thumbs up if you found it useful and ciao for now